Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own bass drum in SoundForge. I'm using SoundForge 7 for this project. Uh, and yeah, uh, wrong file, I don't want that. Okay, so first we're going to go to File, and then New, and 16-bit, and generally you want most of your drum sounds to be in mono. Uh, they take up less space in the mix that way. And we're going to go to uh, Tools, Synthesis, and Simple. And we're going to generate a sine wave at 55 hertz. And the length is going to be 0.25 seconds. And let's see. Let's make the volume just below clipping. Okay, let's let's take a listen. Uh, okay, not much of a bass drum. We kind of need to cut it off here, make it a little bit shorter. That sounds about right. And let's go ahead and select it here and go to process, fade out. And let's repeat that. Process fade out to make sure it's faded completely out. And the last thing we're going to do, which is what's going to basically make our big bass drum, is we're going to go up to process, and then we're going to go down to... No, we're not going to go to process. We're going to go to effects. And then we're going to go to pitch. And then we're going to go to bend. And since uh, we made the bass drum at 55 hertz, I usually try and make my bass drums uh, at the root. I usually make the root of the bass drum the root of whatever key the song is I'm writing in. So, for example, since a bass drum, all it is is a sine wave with the pitch down, uh, I might have it pitched down to 55 hertz, and coincidentally, my bass will be writing at about 55 hertz also, so they'll kind of groove together. You can, you can even uh, do a little bit of detuning to, to create a little bit of extra effect. But for now, let, let's preview what our bass drum sounds like with this shape of a pitch down effect on it. Okay, that sounds okay for a first try. Okay, so now we're gonna go to effects, pitch, and bend again. Okay, now we have not such a bad bass drum, but we can go to effects and pitch and let's bend it one more time and let's make the bend not so sharp this time. Let's give it a little bit of time. Now we have a nice tight low little bass drum here. Well, I guess that's the end of this. Uh, I hope you guys learned something, and I'll catch you guys next time.